Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, yes, I can hear you. Nice. Okay, welcome to another English class. Okay, thank you. Today it is Monday, Monday 26th. Yes. Hey, teacher. Come uh, in this class, we will we will do a uh, exam. No, no. Ah, okay. No, I just I just asking because is so. Sometimes the middle is uh to do an exam, but I don't know. No, uh, no, no, not yet. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me know if you can hear me. Good evening to everyone. Let's start. Let's start another English class. Okay, let's start another English class. Well, in the previous classes, we have studied a little bit about the present perfect. Also, we studied the past participle of the verbs. Okay, some readings that we had. Okay, let me see what else. From the unit number one. Okay, so today we're going to uh, have many activities. Okay, welcome. Today it is Monday 26th. Okay, Monday 26th. All right, let's get this started. Okay, before to start the class, 
Okay, we're going to practice just a little bit about the past participle. Okay, the past participle. Let me know. Okay, what is the past participle of pay? Past participle of pay. What is the past participle of pay? Oh, no. Eight. Eight. Okay, do it faster. Uh, here, here. Here. Here, perfect. Excellent. Here, here. Okay, let's see another. Bye. What is the password of past participle of bye? Bought. 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 Bought, perfect. Bought. Okay, past participle of lose. Lost. Lost. Excellent. Lost. Lost. Here we have another one. A spend. Spend. Spent. 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 That is the past participle. Spent. Okay, here we have drink. Drunk. 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 Excellent. Drunk. How about think? think. Thought. 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 Perfect. Thought. What is the past participle of no? No. 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 With N at the end. No. no. Okay. Let's see. Have. 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 Excellent. Pass. Of. Make. Made. 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 Perfect. Made. Pass participle of. Meet. Meet. Met. 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 Met, excellent. Met. Right. How about win? One. 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 Excellent. One. How about give? Give. Given. 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 Excellent. Given. And we have just three left. Okay, fine. Found. 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 Okay, and let me see. Send. Easy one. Send. 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 And eventually we have pay, that is the past participle. It is pay. pay. Excellent. All right. Okay, so we practice the past participle of the verbs. Past participle of the verbs. Okay, well, now I'm gonna start taking the tender list. Today is Monday, 26th. I'm gonna start. Benitez Ventura. Present. Marroquín Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Lopez Perez. Present. Florentino Garcia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Alvarez Mejia. Alvarez Mejia. Miranda Rodriguez. Here, teacher. Okay. Good. Eh, Abelar Cortez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Valdez Gómez. Present, teacher. Aguirre Chavarria. Present. Merino González. Merino González. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Ramírez Arevalo. Cuellar de Barrientos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ventura de Valdés. Present. Thank you. Galicia Gertrudis. Galicia Gertrudis, Escamilla Jurado, 
Escamilla Jurado, Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Thank you, Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Thank you, Flores Hernández. Flores Hernández. García Orellana. Present. Vázquez Vázquez. Thank you, Miss Sabrina. Present. Gómez García. En Orellana del Cid. Orellana del Cid. Okay, well, let's continue practice the past participle of the verbs. Okay, and run another one. And let me know if you can see. Oh, here we are. Okay, for example, let's start. What is the past part? The past participle of win. Win. Past participle. One. 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 Try. Right. Right. Perfect. C. Sin. 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 Say. 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 The past participle. The past participle. It is said. said. Say is present. Past participle said. Said. Okay. Have. What's the past participle? Have. Excellent. Meet. Met. 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 Perfect. Eat. 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 Build. 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 Climb. 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 Perfect. And go. Come. Gun. Excellent. All right, good job. Okay, we got them. Those are some examples of the past participle. Okay, past participle. Uh, okay, in the previous class, guys, uh, we had uh, we studied the past participle of the verbs. Okay, the present perfect. Okay, in today's class, we're going to remember the conversation we had. Okay. And it's with, between Alejandro and that. Okay. Uh, what if Mr. Angel Antonio, can you help us being Alejandro and Miss Sabrina being that? Okay. okay. All right. Three, two, one, action. Dad, I decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, papa's fries, papa's salad, papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man, have you lost your mind? But Dal, our clients love every single product we, we've come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides this, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new ranch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working overtime. If you think it is going to work, you're probably right. Excellent, good pronunciation, both of you. Good fluency, good speed. Okay, just maybe we need to reinforce the pronunciation of this word. It is man, okay, singular man. And plural, men. Okay? Just, all right. Okay. Uh, good. So, what if Mr. Daniel uh, Arquímenes, can you help us being Alejandro? And how about Miss Lady Carolina? Can you be that? Okay. okay. All right. Three, two, one, action. Dad. I have decided to launch the new pepper sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular or capture more sales. 
Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, papa's fry, papa's salad, papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? But, Dad, our clients love every single product we are coming up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't know when to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working overtime. If you think it is going work, you're probably right. Excellent. Okay, just we need to reinforce the pronunciation of come up with. Come up with. Come up with. Come up with. Okay, a little bit faster. Come, 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 repeat come it again, up, please. Come up with. Come up with. Excellent. Okay. okay. Perfect. Okay. Come up with. Okay. Uh, let me see. Another one. All right. Yeah. Ah, besides. We need to, we need to pronounce the S. Yes. Besides. Besides. Okay, we need to reinforce besides. Okay, however, good job. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay, also, also the previous class, we had the exercises. Okay, so we have some exercises about present perfect. Just give me a second, I wanna share a screen. Maybe you remember this exercise. Yes. This one, this one. Okay, uh, number one, a lot of companies a lot of have grown. Have, what is the? Ground. Companies have grown. Grown, excellent. Perfect, excellent. New members of product line. New members. Have attract. Excellent, have attract. Number three, we. We have decided. We have decided, perfect. Some companies. Haven't succeeded. Haven't succeeded. Excellent. Have, some companies have succeeded. Excellent. All right, number five is a question. Had you ever bought? Excellent. Have you ever bought any highly recognized product line? And six. Has your company designed? Has design your Excellent. Has your company designed? Excellent. Good job. Okay. So uh, those are the exercises that we studied in the previous class. Good job. Okay. So, all right. Just give me a second. Okay. So today we have a conversation between Mario, Mr. Rivas, and Jose. I'm gonna share the screen in case you don't have your manual. It is this conversation, okay? Number 14, 14. Can you see it? Let me know if you can see the reading, please. Page 14. Okay, so it says, Speech Masters is planning to open a new branch. Mr. Rivas, the general manager, is meeting with a team to run a SWOT analysis on the new project. It starts. Mr. Rivas, well, let's get started after conducting a SWOT analysis. We will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right, let's describe the strengths. That means the advantages we have over our competition um, or competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. 
what are what are weaknesses about weaknesses are area in which the corporations are competitively dis disadvantaged in our case a weakness might be a lack of parking space for our customers you're right again mario before making a decision we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Okay, so here we have this conversation. They are planning to do a, a SWOT. Okay, what are the, according to the reading, according to the reading, what are the strengths that they have? What, what are the strengths? Because they are about talking about the flexible schedule. Excellent. Flexible schedule. Excellent. Okay. Schedule. How would how would you explain? How would you explain in your own words? Flexible schedules. How would you explain that expression? Well, I think is uh, have a lot of um, like a, the schedule of the the their job or their mm -hmm. company. It's like, uh, for example, maybe in the morning or in the afternoon at night. I think it's uh, have a, a more 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 time to the serve. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Flexible schedule. That means that are, um, for example, in simple words, there is time for everyone. For example, when you are studying. Uh, at the university or somewhere, you look for flexible schedule. Okay, for example, you might have classes in the morning and afternoon. Okay, good. Flexible schedule. That is one strength. Okay, uh, let me see. What are some, let me see, weaknesses they have? Weaknesses. Because they have a, a lack of parking. L lack of parking. Okay, good. Excellent. All right. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions related with the vocabulary or the pronunciation of any word. The meaning of any word. The pronunciation. Let me see. Okay, we're going to practice again. You can listen to me and you can be in practice at the same time. Okay, Tess. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strengths. That means the advantages we have are over our competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are, what are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are area in which the corporation are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our, for our customers. You're right. Again, Mario, before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. All right. Uh, let me see. Okay. Do you have any question related with the reading? Is there any question? Me? No. All right. Thank you. 
okay, with the pronunciation of any word. Hey, teacher, the word beside is besides. Let me see, let me see. Besides, this one, this one, besides. It's besides, uh huh. Yes, yes, sir. Besides or besides? Besides. Besides, okay, thank you. Sir. Besides. Okay. Can you, you repeat know? the the word uh, say Mario competitively? How do you say? Let me see, let me see. Competitively. It's a little bit tricky, right? But yeah. we need to practice slow with calm. Okay. Competitively. Okay. Okay, okay do you know what BC is? BC. Do you know what BC is? Do you have a lot of things to do? Yeah. Yes. A lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of homework assignments. No, no more time to do is a lot of things. Exactly. You don't have enough time to do many things. Busy. Okay, busy. Okay, we're going to practice this, the pronunciation of this area. Areas. 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 Sometimes we say areas, but that is in Spanish. But in English, it's areas. Areas, okay? Also, let me see. Mm. Okay, let me see. Okay, competitors. Do you know what competitors are? Yes. Competitors. Competitors is like uh, when you have a, a playing soccer or maybe in a, a song ram. Mm -hmm. It's like a, you you come where well, it's a comp compete. like a competition with another person or to get something. Exactly. Good. For example, what is the what is the competitor of Coca Cola? Pepsi. 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 Exactly. That is the competitor. Big cola. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Salva Cola. Okay. No, no the... <laughs> they, they are not competitors. competitors. <laughs> it's not competitors. Okay. Yes. They... It's more poison, Coca Cola. <laughs> okay. Doctor, doc, doctor Paper. Exactly. <laughs> okay. The competition. Okay. So I think it is clear the, the competitors. Okay, let me see. Uh, public speaking, public speaking. You know what this public speaking is? It's like uh, to speak in a big public. Exactly. Or... And you speak in front of a lot of people, a lot of in an audience. Okay, like him here. He's speaking in front of them. Okay, public speaking. Let me see. Let me see another word that you. You speak speaking in a meeting. Exactly. When you speak in a meeting. Okay, weather. Do you know what weather is? Weather is like, a, well, time? That is a weather. That is the, the for example, when it's raining, but this word, uh, weather, okay. it is, for example, when you give two options, ya sea que. In Spanish. Okay, weather. We we give two options. The two options are here: to go on or to stop. Okay, ya sea que continuamos o no detener. Okay. All right. Let me see. Okay, I guess everything is clear. So now we need to practice with our classmates. Okay. So. Do you think this reading it's difficult or kind of easy? It's kind of easy. Well, I think for me. All right. Okay. It's, so, it's a little bit easy. No, no, no. No, it's complex, but exactly. It's, okay. it's like 50 and 50. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to practice. I'm going to make group of three. Make a group of three. Okay. 
and we're going to practice that reading. I guess five minutes are enough to practice. Okay, here we go. Five minutes to practice that reading. Feasible. Teacher, me sacó a mí. Okay, uh, right now. Mr. Jose Ramirez. Okay, there okay. we go. Anytime. Uh, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Only Hello. the read the conversation. Yes, ma'am. Only read. Okay. 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 I am Alejandro. Estela. BC BC agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills in the first class. That correct. That's correct, Mario. Uh, after this good or street, let's continue with our with witnesses. Witnesses. What are witnesses about? Witnesses areas. Uh, witnesses are areas in in which the corporation are com competitively disadvantaged. Disadvantage. In our case, uh, a witness mean um, the, the lack of parking space for consumer. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threat or dangers outside the code could affect the company. Okay. I will okay. practice with Christian Josue. If you want, you can change your practice. First, Christian, are here? Is here? Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strength, let's continue with our witnesses. What are witnesses about? Witnesses are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, at business, my lack of parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and treat a danger of size that call after the company. Okay. Again. In my last paragraph, witness are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantaged in all case. Disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage? Yeah, it is. It, it, 
How do we pronounce that word, teacher? Disadvantaged. Disadvantaged. Is it plural or singular? Let me see. It's singular. It's disadvantage. Disadvantaged. Disadvantaged. Exactly. Okay. Disadvantaged. 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 Okay. Say. Well, let's get a start. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know where to go on or stall with this project. Right. Let us try the strengths. That's mean. The advantage we have over our competitors. We offer reflective education to adapt our customers' busy attendance. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skill since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What, what are, are weaknesses about? Weakness are areas in which the corporation are completely disadvantaged if all case a witness meet with the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or danger outside that could affect the company. Great. Uh, change the roles. Okay. I am Mario. Okay. Uh, Marielos, and you're Mr. Rivas. Yeah. Let's continue with our weaknesses. What what are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the, the corporation are competitive this uh, disadvantage. In our case, a witness might be the lack of parking space of our customer. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need, need to go over the opportunity and terms or danger outside that call affect the company. And if we repeat together. Okay. Together over uh, all the the, the, yeah. the conversation. Ah, okay. 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 We, well, well, let's get the strap. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, listen. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get start. After discussing a SOOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Right. Let's, let's describe the strength that means the advantage we have over our competitor. We offer flexible schedule to adapt to our customer busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strength, let's continue with the other witness. What are witness about? Witness are areas in which the corporation are competitive. All right, I hope you practice with your classmates. Okay, well, yes. uh, okay, let's go now. You have to read here. Just one second, I'm going to Teacher, share. please, yeah, yeah. can you repeat the word for the pronunciation, competitors? Ah, uh, let me see uh, here, uh, is this one? Uh, 
Yes. Competitors. Competitors. Exactly. Very good. Competitors. Uh, sounds like R, teacher. R. Yeah, um, sounds like the R. T's sound R. Competitors. Exactly. Competitors. Okay, and then. Com com competitively. Competitively or exactly. competitively? Exactly. How do you say? Competitively. Competitively. Perfect. And disadvantage is Dis the correct pronunciation. Disadvantage. One more time. In this one. Do you mean this one? Yes. Okay. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Perfect. Okay. Thank Very you, good. You, you have good ear. You have good ear. Okay. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, now we're going to start with the, with the, okay. How about group number one composed by Estela Mabel, Luis Alberto, and Marina Vanessa. Okay. Okay. I am Jose. Okay. She is Jose. I'm Mario in... Alberto is Mr. Rivas. Oh, got it. Okay, Rivas. Well, let's start. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strange. That means the advantages we have over our competitors. Very good. We offer flexible wow. schedules to adapt wow. to our customer busy agendas. Besides, uh, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That Correct, Mario. After discussing our trends, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are, are areas in which the corporations are comp competitively disadvantages. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You are right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we will we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Good. Okay. Excellent. Uh, just we need to reinforce the pronunciation of okay strengths 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 strengths. Excellent. Strengths. Strengths. Strength. Perfect. Okay. Because I heard it's strange, but strange is. Yes. Strange. <laughs> like, I say that. Uh, but it is like Dr. <laughs> strange. Okay. Strength. Excellent. Very good. Strength. Right. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. In time. All right. Uh, good. All right. How about Mr. Angel, Mr. Christian, and Mr. Julio? Okay. okay, I okay. will start. Well, well, let's get a start. After conducting a SWOT analysis, analysis, we will know whether to go on or go on or start with this project. Right. Let's right. describe the strength that means the advantage we have over our competitor. Uh, we offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customer busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skill since the first class. That's correct, Miriam. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? 
witnesses are areas in which the corporation are completely disadvantaged in our case a witnesses might be the lack of parking space for our customer you are right again Mario. before making a decision we still need to go over the opportunities and streets or danger outside that could affect the company excellent very good okay we need to reinforce the pronunciation of let me see competitors or competitors okay either competitors excellent okay this one schedules schedules Schedule. perfect okay scenes scenes Scenes. excellent and this one areas 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 perfect okay good job uh, group number three miss lady and mr ospin flores okay 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 lady you are um, you mr are rivas. rivas and, okay. and, just, uh, and you marry okay yes, well yes. let's get started after conjuring a short analysis we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strength that means the advantage we have over our competitors. We offer flexibly a schedule to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills in this first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strength, let's continue with our witnesses. Hey, you are just oh, say. One sec. <laughs> what are witnesses about? Witnesses are areas in which the compo corporation are comp competitively disadvantage in our case our witness may be the lack of parking space for our customers you're right again mario before making a decision we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangerous upside that could affect the company okay okay good very good excellent Okay, we're going to practice get started or, okay. or get started. started. Exactly, started. or started. Here we have two options, started or started. Okay, also, okay, competitors, we're going to practice again. Competitors. Competitors. Exactly, schedules. Schedules. Scenes. Scenes. Excellent, areas. Areas. And this one, threats. Threat. Threat. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Miss Lady and Mr. Osbin, for your participation. Okay, okay. Um, now, uh, Miss Angela, Miss Angela Estefania, and Mr. Daniel Arquimedes. Okay. Um, well, let's, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to, to go on or start with this project. Right. Let's describe the strength. That means that advantage we have offer our competitors. We offer flexible schedule to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow when they practice their public speaking skill science, the first class. That's correct, Maria. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our witnesses. What are the witnesses about? Witnesses are artists playing with the corporation are com competitive disadvantage. In our case, a witness might be they lack our parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. 
before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that call affects the company. Excellent. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Daniel. Thank Ms. you. Daniel. Okay. We're going to practice get started. Get started. Advantages. Get started. Okay, plural. Advantages. Uh, competitors. Schedules. BC. Okay, BC. Uh, scenes. Scenes. Correct. Okay, correct. Areas, areas, and threats. 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 Okay, good. Uh, how about now, Mr. Jose Mario and Miss Sabrina? So I am Mr. Rivas. Okay. okay. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stall with this project. Right. Let's describe the stretch. That's mean the advantage we have over our competitor. We offer flexible schedule to adapt to our customer busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skill since the third class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing no. our stretch, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customer. To right again, Mario, before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or danger outside that could affect the company. Excellent. Very good, Miss Sabrina and Mr. Jose Mario. Uh, just a piece of advice, okay? For example, when the words in English, they begin with S, okay? For example, start, okay, another one, schedule. Uh, let me see. Okay, I'm going to, this one, start. Okay, when the word N begins with S, okay? This one is speaking. Let me see another one. Schedule speaking start. Do you see another another word that begins ah, stream? Space. Begins. Space. Let me see. Let me see. Space. Yeah. Steel. Space. Steel. Skills. Okay. Yeah. All right. So when you begin, ah, this one. Thank you, Mister Dan. Okay, when yeah. you see, when you begin with an S in English, okay, in Spanish, we commonly say a e start, right? We add E, E, or we say a e stop, but we need to make a different sound. For example, we need to say this one, S okay, like started, schedule, strengths, speaking, skills okay space okay we need to we need to do that, that sound because uh, when we say a e start a e speaking we add a e, right but it, it is incorrect in spanish because we don't have the s sound but we need to practice when a word begins with s okay we need to begin with starter strength schedule speaking skill space all right, that is a piece of advice. Una recomendación. Recommendation. Okay. And Thank let you. me see. Anytime. All right. Now we're going to end it up with Mr. Jaime Jose Rene and Miss Kenny Lisa. Okay. I start. Well, let's get started after conducting with SOT analysis. We will know whether to go on or stop with this project. 
Right. That describes the strength. That means the advantage we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedule to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skill science the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strength, let's continue with the with our witness. Uh, what are witnesses about? Mario, Jaime. No, Jaime. Jaime. <laughs> Jaime. Uh, the time we allow them to practice their public speaking style, the skills size their first class. No, <laughs> Sorry, okay. That's correct, my. <laughs> After discussing our strength, let's continue with the our witness. What our witness is about. Witness uh, are areas. Witnesses are areas in which the corporation are competitive disadvantage. In our case, a uh, witness might be the lack of parking space for our consumers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and trends or dangers outside that could affect the company. Excellent. Okay, uh, we need to reinforce the definition of sins. 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 Okay, we got confused and we say signs, right? So it's sins. 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 Also, areas. 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 Because areas. in Spanish, we say area. We say areas, but the correct form in English areas. is areas. 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 Okay, good. <clears throat> Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Good job. Okay, we're going to continue. Okay, I need to, okay, I guess we can. All right, now we need to write the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Okay, uh, is it enough? Is it okay two minutes or three minutes to do this activity? Are okay three minutes? Yes. All right. Okay. We're, we're gonna have three minutes. Three minutes to fill in the blanks using strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Nobody's here. Yes, nobody. <laughs> I'm going to move you to another breakup room. Okay. There you go.
Okay, are you ready? You ready? Let's let's get started. Okay, here we go. You need to you have to find the best correspond for strength. Okay. Um what else? Threats. Okay. The number one. What is what is strength? Strength. Strength. I think it's the first one. Provide an analysis of the company's advantages over its competitors. Competitors, okay. Good. Competitors. Provide an analysis of the company's advantages over, over its, its competitors. competitors. Excellent. So here we have. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. It is strengths, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Here we're going to mark number one. Okay. How about number two? Consider areas in which the companies are at the competitive disadvantage. Weaknesses. Weaknesses. Perfect. Weaknesses. Good job. All right, number three, opportunities. I think it's the, are a list of unexplored market or business development. Good job, mister. And the last one. Threats, explore external environment that could affect the company. That's right. Including technology, technological environments and regulatory factor. Threats. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Okay, we have their the uh, results. Okay, and now we're going to see uh, this topic that is called how to use reduce advert classes of time. Okay. We have this that is called a four. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, how to reduce adverse clauses of time? Okay, this is very short a topic, but before uh, I need to take the attendant list because it is time. The second attendant list, and I'm going to start right now. Uh, Benitez Ventura, present teacher. Thank you, uh, Marroquín Martinez. Present teacher. Lopez Perez. Present. Florentino Garcia. Present teacher. Álvarez Mejía. Miranda Rodríguez. Avelar Cortés. Present. Valdés Gómez. Present. Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Merino González. Present. Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Ok. Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Ventura de Valdés. Present. Galicia Gertrudis. Galicia Present. Gertrudis. Escamilla Jurado. Present. Mancía Gutiérrez. Mancía Gutiérrez. Cornejo Erazo. Cornejo Erazo. Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Flores Hernández. Present teacher. García Orellano. García. Present, present. Vázquez, Vázquez. Yes, tú. Gómez García. Present teacher. Thank you. En Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. 
Okay, well, we have this. Um, I need to share my presentation. Just give me a second. Okay, adverb. Here we go. Okay, how to reduce adverb clauses of time. Okay, how to reduce adverb adverb clauses of time. Okay, the step number one. Step number one. Adverb clauses introduced by before, after, since, and while can be reduced to modifying adverb phrases. One more time. Adverb classes introduced by before, after, since, and while can be reduced to modifying adverb phrases. For example, it says, both sentences have the same subject. Okay? This is the first rule. We need, we need to make sure both sentences have the same subject. For example, here we have, after we conduct a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. As you can see, both are the same, the same subject. So if we have the same subject, okay, uh, to reduce, to reduce uh, clauses, we can do the following thing. We can say, we can say, after conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Okay, the first rule to reduce, okay, the adverb, uh, the clauses, both sentences have to be the same subject. Okay, if they are different, we can reduce. We can't. Example, before we make a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats that could affect the company. As you can see here, here we have the same subject. We, we, okay, be the same subject. And here, it's the same subject. So we can reduce okay, the clauses. We eliminate this. And we add I N G before before making uh, here we have before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities. Okay. Is it clear this part? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Come. I have a question. I think um so the difference isn't like uh, reduce the the subject. The verb be, I had the subject mm -hmm. and add to the verb ing. Exactly. Okay. After, is the unique is the unique different? Uh, exactly. After before, since wow, exactly. and while. Okay. Wow. Good. Okay. Excellent. Tell me, Mr. Yo puedo hacer eso, pero siempre y cuando hay otro otro subject. A continuación, por ejemplo, estoy viendo dos we, we make and we steal. Sí, eh, lo que sucede es que tenemos dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Tenemos la oración 1, hasta donde llega la coma, y la oración 2, después de la coma. Son dos oraciones en una. A partir de eso, tenemos que eh, asegurarnos que primero tengamos una de estas palabritas. Okay, una de las clases puede ser before, while, eh, after, si no, si no recuerdo. Y otra que tiene que, eh, tiene que cumplir otra regla es que ambos, tienen que ser ambos sujetos. Por ejemplo, aquí está el mismo sujeto acá y el mismo sujeto. Ok. Para hacer okay. la reproducción. Si okay. aquí tuviéramos we, pero aquí tuviéramos he, no se podría hacer la reducción. Oh. Okay. Understood. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Okay. After he did military service, he became a monk. Can can we reduce this one? Can we? 
or weekend? Okay, we. After doing? After, exactly. Okay. Excellent, very good. After doing military service, he became a monk. Very good, because we have the same subject. He and he. Very good. Excellent. Before the new product, before the new project gets green light, we still need to beat the threats from outside. Can we reduce the class? No. No. No, no right? Mm. Because first we are talking the new the new product, okay? That is the subject. And in the second subject, it is will. Okay, so we can't, we can reduce. Okay, the subject in, ad, in adverb classes and independent class are different. So the reduction should not be done. We can't. El sujeto en las ambas, ambas oraciones son diferentes. All right. Let's continue. Okay, one more time. He wrote his first book after he recovered from a major illness. Can we do here the reduce? We do in the second. After that's, that's recovering. One, or one sentence. But I think the, the mm. verb is, it is um, in pass. Mm, no. It's only one sentence. It, yes, it's only one sentence. Uh -huh. coma. Okay. It's only one oh. sentence. Uh, just, a, just a piece of advice. Okay, the comma, it will be written when we begin with a, the after. The beginning. Word. Exactly. Here we, we switch the position, uh -huh. so we don't add comma. You can use the comma, I, I switch exactly. the, the position, okay? Mm -hmm. You can use, you can switch the position, but you don't add comma. Okay, that is another uh, example. We can switch the position. We, we add the ING teacher after the... the after while... The clubs. Exactly. After, 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 after while, after... after. Ah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Recovering from now, it's your turn. I don't know if, if it is clear this, or do you want me to explain again? Okay, now is your turn. Okay, we're going to make, we're, we're going to reduce sentences in this. Okay, I'm going to give you some minutes, okay, to analyze these three sentences, and then you have to tell me if we can reduce or we can.
Are you ready? Not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, thank you. Are you done? Yes. Good. Okay, thank you, Mr. Angel. Okay, number one, number one. Any volunteer to read number one? Me, teacher. Thank you, mister. Go ahead, please. Okay. The first of all, I think uh, I, we can, no, yes, I can change because it's like a two sentences. Because he worked hard, he passed the test. Okay. See, can you repeat it again? Because because he worked, he worked hard, he passed the test. Okay. You forgot the or, ing word. Because having worked or because. Okay. And the third one. After Entonces, esa sí se puede cambiar, dicha. Sí. Okay, let me see. Yeah, you can. Oh, because uh, at the beginning we couldn't with the, with the verb. So we can add having, right? But okay. this is confused. This may be, maybe in the first, I had a mistake. It's a mistake because, uh, because he worked hard, he used point but in this case he, he changed point for comma this this is the confuse no the comment the, 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 the semicolon and the comma it, it isn't a deal this is just an example okay how you can switch from having okay if you think okay just is a case but uh -huh, yeah. i thought this is a more complicated because you are a having exactly but this is an example how it's, you can... It's only in... Oh, exactly. This is an example how you can switch. At the beginning... But it's in said, the past. Exactly. At, at the beginning, you said 
we can, right, Mr. Angel? Yes. Exactly, and we can't. So I show you another form, how you can switch from, okay, ING. Okay, that, that is okay. another form. But exactly, okay. with, this, with this sentence, we can. But okay. I show you another form, how we can put it with ING. Pero el because, teacher, el because sí entra entre las palabras que nos dan la pauta para cambiarlo después. La palabra because es igual que while, before. Exactly. O hay varias, teacher. The books shows only three, right? But there are a lot. I'm showing different options. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, after he did military service, he became a monk. I think it's after doing military service, he became a monk. Excellent, okay. After doing military service, he became a monk. Excellent. Okay, he wrote his first book after he recovered from a major illness. He wrote his first book after he recovering from a major illness. Perfect, excellent, okay. He wrote his first book after he recovered recover from a major illness, okay. After doing, okay. Uh, One question, Richard. Uh, maybe I think uh, the use the past heavy. And, and the second is the same, is the past, because it's did, and you use doing. Uh, is the answer in the first is correct. And I say, because working hard, he passed the test. Exactly. Is both possible? Both, yeah, exactly. After working hard, exactly. Oh. Okay, it's indifferent. If the sentence is in the past, is in the present. When you when I change, I use in the participle. Exactly. And you, you, you have, the thing is that you have to use ing form. ING. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And Teacher. Both, tell me. But no, no, in the, <laughs> sorry. Tell me. So, eh, entonces, no voy a decir en español porque no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Entonces, después de que ocupamos y lo ponemos con el ING, no es que necesariamente lo está haciendo en ese momento, sino que lo utilizamos como una actividad, ¿verdad? Como un, como después de comprar. Exacto, es un ejemplo, un ejemplo. Sí, como una actividad. Ok, está bien. Thank you. Okay, now uh, we have the exercises from the textbook, from the textbook, from the, the manual. Okay, here we have more information. Here we have more information. And I'm going to, okay, you can analyze the sentences. Here we have to reduce other clauses to phrase doing the following. How about, uh, let me see, Mr. Jose René, can you read the three rules, please? Eliminate the subject in the adverb clause. If the clause has a form of the verb be, eliminate it. If the clause has any other verb different from be, add ENG. Excellent. Okay. To reduce is only possible when the subject of the of the adverb clause and the indefinite clause are the same. Okay, like I said, uh, the two sentences must have the same subject. Okay, here we have. Uh, how about Miss Miss Estela? Can you help us to read the two sentences, please? Okay. Uh, before. Before we make a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and treats that could affect the company. Exactly. And second exactly. one, please, please. Okay. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and treats that could affect the company. Excellent. Okay, as you can see, 
here the subject, it is we. In the second sentence, the subject, it is we. So we reduce by adding ing form. Okay. Okay, now we're going to develop these sentences. These sentences. Okay, and you have to tell me if we can reduce or not. And here we go. Okay, the first sentence, number one. After the product development team finished brainstorming, it is essential to discard ideas that are not feasible. I think it's after the, after. Mm. Development, development, development that existed. <laughs> after producing development team. Huh? Exactly. After, after producing development team finished brainstorming, it is essential to discard ideas that are not feasible. But, okay, after the product, one more time. After the product. We eliminate the product. Or say after producing. Okay, after producing. Okay, after Develop. producing. Let me see where, where it is. After. But, I'm sorry. But this is not a verb. It's not some subject. It's not some verb. The product development team is a subject. Exactly. And finish is the verb. So it will say, after finishing exactly. brainstorming, it is essential to discard ideas that are not feasible. Good job. Okay. This is the subject. Este es el sujeto de lo que estamos hablando. El equipo de producción. Okay. Uh, before the manager list weaknesses of the company on the slide. And that is before the manager listening, the witness of the company. This is a deeper listen. The verb here, it is listen, listen. Okay, but the manager and he are the same. Porque tenemos que, tenemos que reconocer si los, dos, si los dos son el mismo sujeto para eliminar. Yes. Okay, exactly. So we know they both are the same, he and the man. So we eliminate this subject. Eliminate that and before listening. Exactly. Before listening the weakness of the company on slide, he had a presented new product. Okay. All right. We need to add ING. Primero, tenemos que ver si los, las dos oraciones, en las dos oraciones, los sujetos son iguales. Si los dos sujetos son iguales, eliminamos un sujeto y después de esas palabras como after, before, tenemos que agregarle ing al verbo. ¿Ok? Eh, number three. Andrew kept text messaging, messaging while he was in a video conference about prototype for the new product. Can we reduce classes? Andrew keep this messaging while being in a video conference. I think is Andrew kept text messaging while um, being in a video conference. Okay, we need to check the rules, it says. But in the rules say that when we found a form of B, we eliminate it. And we eliminate what? Una forma del verbo to be. O sea, el being no cuenta. No podemos decir being. We can't. We, We can't. can say being. No. Nope. Okay. So, nosotros so, lo sustituimos por, por otro verbo. 
podemos cambiar. In this case, I, I think we can reduce. We can reduce. Exactly. Okay. We can reduce. So that because rule have... don't apply to verb to be. Exactly, because we have the verb to be. Okay. Okay. Many promising product ideas are ruled out after out after they fail to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis. Okay, first, are they the same, the same subject? Many promising products, ideas. Is the same subject than they? Yes. The same? Okay, yes, they are the same. Están hablando de la misma cosa. So, we can reduce. Is it the verb to be here? Is it the verb to be? No. No, okay, we can add ing. Okay, and we can say, so we eliminate this subject and we add ing form. Okay, and we say, many promising product ideas are ruled out after failing to reduce posit positive results in the SWOT. Bájale un poquito. Ok. Question number, exercise number five. The weaknesses of company can be transformed into opportunities after a careful uh, contingency plan to alleviate them in design. Do you think we can reduce here in number five? Can we reduce? No. We can't, exactly. We can because there is only one sentence. We don't have two subjects. Okay, we can. No podemos reducir porque únicamente hay un sujeto. Okay, so it is like that. And the last one, before you present a new idea to the manager, you need to present detailed list of costs and benefits. Can we reduce here? Yes. Why? Before presenting, exactly. present, presenting a new idea to the manager, you need to present a de detailed list of costs and benefits. Perfect. So what is the subject that, that we need to eliminate uh, for you or you need? Is you. Exactly. This one. Okay. And then we have ING form. Presented. Okay. Uh, before presenting a new idea to the manager, you need to present detailed list of costs and benefits. Okay, so the first rule is, remember, eh, we need to identify the two subjects. Tenemos que identificar los dos sujetos. Si los dos sujetos son el mismo, vamos a eliminar el sujeto que esté después. Por ejemplo, de after, before, while. Okay, y vamos a agregarle ing al verbo. Okay. Two, one. Teacher, but I, I had a little confused in the number three. What okay. happened with the number three? The thing is that we can modify the verb to be here was. Andrew kept text messaging while
don't know, Andrew keep text messaging while he was, or only was, or I the don't know. We can say was in, we can't. We can say was in. It is like that, we can modify it. Okay. And also we can say a uh, while being in a video. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to keep practicing this. Uh, this topic. Okay. Now we're going to have a, a speaking activity. Okay, speaking activity. Okay, I'm going to share this screen. Give me a second. Okay. All right. Okay, so here you will see different topics, different topics. And uh, you have to you have to talk okay about that topic at for at least a minute. Okay, we, we're gonna try okay to improve our speaking. Okay. Uh, is there any volunteer who wants to give it a try? The speaking activity. Mm, I can understand about. Okay, this one here, and then you have to choose a number. Mm -hmm. And for example, number, this is an example, number nine. Okay, you have to talk for a minute about your hobby. Okay. Ah, okay. Your hobby. Okay. Okay. Let's give it a try. So you have to talk, okay, using the topic. All right. Uh, who wants to give it a try? Me, teacher. Okay. Give me a number. Uh, choose the number. Number four. Number four? Sure. This one. Okay. What is your favorite sport? Your yeah, well, are you ready? Um, yes. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Okay, my favorite sport is soccer team. Soccer. Uh, Barcelona is my favorite. My team soccer. Well, mm -hmm. I like that because I will doing exercise and mm -hmm. also I will help him because I I ran and whatever a lot of a lot of things more and also I think enjoy and I feel so good when I practice uh, that kind of sport and also sometimes I played um, basketball but it's um, it's good but I don't I don't like much like a uh, soccer. Okay. I nice. prefer soccer. Excellent. Okay. You talk for a minute. Very good. What's the end? All right. Just maybe you say I because I I run. Okay. You can say I like running. Okay. Okay. I like running. But good job. Okay. Good fluency. And you improvise very good. Okay. And Thank you. another volunteer who wants to practice their speaking, the speaking area with a random topic. Me, I will try. Excellent. Give me, choose the number. I will try if you want. Number one. Okay, talk for a minute about your family. A number. Yeah. 
what? I can see them. I can see that. My screen. And we can hear you okay. very well, mister. Talk about my family. Yes, sir. Okay, I guess he has problem with his microphone. Okay, who wants to talk about your family? Who wants to who wants to talk about the family? Any volunteer? I can talk Me again. Miss Sabrina, okay? Go ahead. Three, okay. two, one, action. Okay. My family is really, really big. We have a lot of people and when, when we meet it, mm -hmm. when we meet together, uh, we are just in two house. I think we are regularly 25 people just when we join two house. So we have we I have a lot a, a big family, and that is good because you uh, I'm never alone. Mm -hmm. But it can be a um, a uh, reto puede ser un reto because it, having a challenge because um uh, having no privacy. Okay. <laughs> and but it's good. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Ya que se llegue el minuto. <laughs> and over. Good. Okay. You can say we have many relatives. Relatives are, for example, our aunts, uncles, eh, okay, relatives, cousins. You have a lot of relatives. Good. Thank you, Miss Arina. Good speed, good fluency. Excellent. I don't know who wants to give it a try with different topics. Okay, here we have different topics, vacation, favorite fan, favorite pet. Who wants to give it a try? For a minute, just speaking by a minute. Miss Lady, are you, do you want to participate? Me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Number. Um, number two. Number two. Okay. Talk about one of your, I'm sorry, talk for one minute about your best friend. Let me know when you're ready. Your best friend. Your best. Friend. Okay. In my case, my best friend is my mom because uh, he, because she is the confident. What? Continue, continue. Here I'm taking the time. <laughs> okay. Because he, she is my confident and, um, how do you say, consejera? She gives good advice. She gives good advice. And how much about my best friend? And he lo he, she loved me and I love her. And my, my children are the I prefer um, a nietos. How do you say nietos? Grandsons. How? Grand Repeat, sons. please. Grandsons. Grandsons. My children are um, preferred grandson, the other grandson, than my other brother and, and sister. And um, she preferred to come uh, pace time uh, with my family and in America and Christmas and New Year. Okay. Um, Good, excellent. Okay, your best friend is your mother, right? Because she gives you good advice, good piece of, of, of advices. Excellent, Miss Lady, good job. Okay, 
a, another another volunteer who want to choose a number. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Tell me the number. Uh, 12. 12. Yes. Okay. Talk about, for a minute, about your house. Your house. Okay. Um, my house is, is big. Um, is old. Um, in my house, in location in Santa Regla. Nice. Yes, and um, it's cool. Frio. Okay, it's cool. cold. It's, it's, it's cold. cold. It's cold, Perfect. very cold. Yes, and um, I have an air um, three. Mm -hmm. Very, very three. Yes. And um, in, in the morning, I, I listen in uh, the beer, more beer. Yes, it's, it's very good. It's and very nice. good my, in, my, in my house. Yeah. Okay. And, and I am, I am sleep uh, comfortable. Excellent, comfortable. Yes, Perfect. comfortable. Yes, um, yes. In my house, this is very, very good. <laughs> nice, very good. Okay, and time is over. Over. Excellent. Over time. Good. Okay, so thank your you, house teacher. is big and all. Uh, you are surrounded by trees, right? The weather. The weather is cold. Excellent, Mr. Julio. The weather is cool, a cold teacher. Yes, okay. yes. And thank you. Thank you for your opportunity. Excellent. Okay. And the uh, cafe below is close to you, right? Yeah. <laughs> I play yeah. I play football. Yes. Excellent. You play soccer there. Uh, nice. I I was I was in the Sunday. Ah, always on Sunday. Perfect. Always, okay. always on Sunday, yes. Nice. Very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, how about another volunteer? Okay, the last volunteer. The last me. volunteer. Okay, tell me the number. Uh, number six. Six. Okay, talk for a minute about your school. I or don't remember. Job. Okay, your job. <laughs> your job. Okay. Your job. Um, Are you ready? Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, I talk for my job and I visited the site construction. I work in, uh, in construction and uh, supervisor uh, many people, many uh, handyman or uh, carpenter and I visited the three or four days at the week. Uh, I supervise the, use the, the equipment, uh, personal uh, equipment, personal protection, and check the, the all, everything in the in the site construction i i like the visit the, the site construction and i like um, uh, um, i like a combinator with uh, home office and 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 outside the office it's necessary for i uh, traveling for the country and Teacher, I the 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 minute yeah, it's over or not? <laughs> it's almost over. Almost over. You have like ten seconds. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, it's that's it. It's that's uh, it. It's, okay. Yeah, in my okay. school, I remember the the high school. It's um three years, very nice. It's it's good. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jose Mario. Okay, just a piece of advice. You say I visited. 
about visited, it is in the past. So it, uh, it is I visit. I visit. Okay. I visit. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Good. Excellent. Okay. And that was an speaking activity. An speaking activity. Okay. Uh, now we're going to practice another form, which is the past participle. Okay. We're going to keep practicing the past participle. Okay. Here we go. Can you see the presentation? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. <clears throat> Brian, what is the correct form? Brian has or Brian have? The present has. perfect has. has and the past participle. Had. Had. Okay, let me see. Uh, we don't have had, I guess, here. Lost. Lost. All right. Good. Let's see. Exactly. Lost. Brian has lost his first tooth. Very good. Next. Present perfect. I think I have forgotten. I have forgotten. See? Forgotten. Excellent. I have forgotten. Perfect. Next. Bob and Sue has just gotten. Excellent. Have just got married. Here we have two forms, got or got it. Okay, the past person. Good job. Los dos están correctos, teacher. Got yes. y gotten. You can use got or gotten in the in the past person. Okay. Uh, in this second time this week, that granny ha ganado. Win. Once. Has, 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 has win. Has, has win. win. The past participle of win. One. 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 Okay, has won a game of bingo. Has won. A who? Has broken. Has broken. It's a canción, teacher. <laughs> who has broken? Who has Broken. broken, broken, broken. His who son say, no breaking, no breaking my heart. <laughs> who has broken your heart again? Okay, good. Uh, he? He has fallen. He has fallen? He has see. fallen in love. Excellent. Okay, he has fallen, fallen in love. love with the new girl, girl in his class. <laughs> but not here. It, that is another class. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, my I have spent. 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 I have spent. spent all my money. Have you ever been? Have you ever? Have you ever? Uh, being late. Being, being late. being late for work. Good. My father. Has worked. My father has worked. Has worked. Has worked. Has worked. Has worked. Has worked. Do we have work. Yes, right. Has worked hard all day. Uh, never. I, I, have I have never, never, never. Right. 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 I never written. Right. 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 We we have we have had three three have we met, have had met. we have a met we have met let's see we have no. had. We have had dinner together. We have had. 
we have had exactly we uh, have had dinner together a few times this week i i have finally uh, yes. talk talk met met met, met, met lucy and your student for the day excellent i have finally met lucy the new student from the usa all right good job okay well uh, now uh, i need to take the attendance list okay here we go again benitez ventura sand teacher marroquin martinez Present teacher lopez perez Present. Uh, florentino Garcia. Present teacher. Álvarez Mejía. Álvarez Mejía. Miranda Rodríguez. Abelar Cortés. Present. Valdés Gómez. Present teacher. Aguirre Chavarría. Present teacher. Merino González. Present teacher. Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Ventura de Valdés. Here. Gar Galicia Gertrudis. Present. Escamilla Jurado. Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Cornejo Erazo. Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Flores Hernández. Present teacher. García Orellana. Present. Vázquez Vázquez. Gómez García. Present. Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Okay, good. Thank you very much. And now today we need we have the meeting with Daniel Ezequiel. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It is um no no no. It is yeah, Daniel Ezequiel. Okay. The rest, see you next class. God okay, God bless you. Okay, good night, take care. And see you tomorrow. Okay, for another... Good night, teacher. Okay, good, good night. night. Hey, good night, night teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. See ya. Take care, Mister. Good night. Good night.